We're in free air now. You got no rods. I'm gonna punch your head in. I don't care if you cost more than my car. Actually, I care a little bit. That's a bit pricey. I'm not that much of a home wrecker. <laughs> Hi. I've recently upgraded my setup slightly and I have found the perfect kind of green screen for all your green screen needs, right? Look here, look at how much better my green screen is now. You remember how my green screen used to be? It was terrible. I like, had friggin' things going on in the corners, like the faceless old woman who secretly lives in your home, that kind of stuff going on, just nightmare level terror. Now, now it's so much better. First I've got a neat little lapel mic here that you know, you're not meant to be looking at because it's meant to be cool, but whatever. I think it's, it's part of my aesthetic. But most importantly, look at how realistic this green screen looks. This is the perfect green screen of a home. Now I look like I live in Perth, right? You know how I did this? It's very easy. The, you, you might think that a green screen of this quality would be hard to get, but it's piss easy. You don't even need any post edit. That's how good this green screen is, right? So what you do is, say you wanted to film yourself looking like you're in a Perth house. It's very simple, right? You, all you have to do is drive 400 kilometers to Perth and then film yourself in the house you want to film yourself in. And then look at how realistic it looks. Look, it looks like I'm holding this pillow. That's how good this new green screen. I don't know why there's no videos on this. The best possible green screen idea in history, guys. Like, can you think of a better kind of green screen? You can't get more realistic than the real deal. Now, <clears throat> All it cost me was a $5,500 third hand car and $120 worth of fuel. So about six grand, not including insurance, which you will need going to a city. And then you got yourself a green screen. Now, it is a little more fancy if you wanted to say, film yourself during the Cascade incident. But here's a little trick, right? If you wanted to film yourself in, in C17, for example, in Half-Life 2, the video game, it's very easy, right? Observe. Right now I'm in a Perth household, and now I'm in CD17. Now I had to switch to first person view and I needed to get a self defense weapon because I decided to film at night. But yes, as you can see, I have made the best green screen effects. It looks exactly like I'm in CD17, mainly because I am in CD17. Um, and see these head crab zombies, you really can't tell the difference between CD17 and East Perth. If you are in a pinch, you can use East Perth. I'm just saying. This is the greatest green screen idea I've ever had, okay? You want this kind of green screen idea? Easiest, easiest pie. Yeah.